Coal Valley Christian Schools has been a thriving ministry of Coal Community Church since 1972 and it is a ministry in which God has consistently demonstrated his faithfulness. In 1971, God in his providence brought David and Patty Hazen to Cole Community Church, where David became the senior pastor. Having seen the benefit of Christian schools at his previous church, he quickly started the process of forming a Christian school at Cole. Pastor Hazen understood the magnitude of the effort and prayed that if God wanted this school, he would bring a teacher. In the summer of 1972, Ken and C.J. Hunter moved to Boise and were visiting Cole Community Church for the first time. She was a teacher and she needed a job. With that prayer answered, Cole Christian opened its doors in September of 1972 with kindergarten and first grade and a promise to expand in future years. God greatly blessed both the school and the church. Together, they burst the seams of the original building on Cole Road. The school needed to rent classroom space in other churches. Because of the growth, in 1982, Cole Community Church moved to the current location with a larger building which had been designed to have classroom space for the school. Unfortunately, with all the growth, that was even too small. The leadership of Cole Community Church had decided that they did not want to invest in a high school for Cole Christian. So a group of parents came together and formed Valley Christian to provide a junior high and a high school in 1990. Eventually, over time, all parties realized that we would be better together than separately if it were possible to overcome the differences. On January 25th, 1999, in what has been called by everyone a miracle meeting, the two boards clearly led by the Holy Spirit voted to unite and form Cole Valley Christian Schools. In those days, we were still using classroom space in other churches. We wanted to eliminate the need to pay rent. Unfortunately, there was nothing available, nothing suitable. Then in the fall of 2001, our two partner churches simultaneously gave us notice that we needed to exit their building by the end of the school year. We were in a bind. The Garden City Municipal Building was the only available facility large enough for our needs for a price that we could afford, <laughs> but it was not ideal. On Friday, before the Monday on which we were going to sign the papers to buy that building, a school grandpa who was the owner of the Meridian Office and Convention Center asked us why we hadn't come to look at his building. Well, we didn't even know it was for sale. So on Saturday, the board motored over to Meridian to look at the building and tour it. All we could say was, wow, this was the old Meridian High School building and these guys had renovated it and restored it, something we would never have been able to do because we didn't have the money. So the board unanimously decided to go with the old Meridian High School and turn down the Garden City building. Now, we didn't know this, but God was protecting us. The Garden City Municipal Building, we learned later, had to be destroyed because of irremediable mold. What an example of God's provision and protection. Of course, as soon as we acquired this building, we looked across the street at the disused field and the rundown buildings and then looked in the parking lot at the Apostolic Bible Church thinking how nice it would be if we could acquire those properties and wondering how we could ever begin to pay for them. So we started praying. In 2014, after nearly 12 years of constant prayer, the owner of the field across the street from our secondary facility finally agreed to sell it to us. God provided the money and then he also moved people to help us develop it. My prayer for 14 years had been that we could buy the Apostolic Bible Church building, but that it would only become available when we could afford it so that no one else would swoop in and buy it when we couldn't buy it. One of our former school parents, a realtor, offered a concept. In simplified terms, he proposed a building swap with the Apostolic Church, providing them a nicer building at a different location, and then he would sell us the building that the church vacated at a price we could afford. The concept worked, and everything came together in a few days' time, and everyone was happy. With the refinance, the resulting monthly payment, even with the purchase of the Apostolic Church building, was considerably less than what we had been paying before. God had provided us the building at the exact moment when we could afford it.
Isn't God amazing? Well, what have we learned from our history? God is faithful. He provides people and facilities when we need them. And we know He will continue to be faithful in the future.